I'm Chris Trot, Trotty Golf. This full swing kit gives you 16 data points. Right now, I'm gonna give you the super speedy version of what each one means. As quick as you can get it, as quick as you can get that. Depends on the golf club. I'd say get them gapped out perfectly as to how you want them, but ultimately with driver as far as you can carry it. As far as that ball's gonna go, but you wanna look at your apex with this one, which is another number, but as far as you can get it from the land and you can run it out. It's all based on what you want as a player. If you look at your seven iron, you probably want your apex to be what your club speed is. Your drivers, you wanna get them nice and high, but you wanna be able to control that number when it comes to the wedges. You want this to be 1.5 with driver. This is how efficient you can get that driver to work. 1.5, the energy is a good number. Based on the golf shot you're hitting, if we can return consistency would be my answer for this and keep it in the minus one to positive one, minus two to positive two, that's a great area to keep it in there based on the shot shape you wanna hit. All depends on the golf shot you wanna hit, but if you can keep it zeroed out to your path, that's pretty good. Zeroed out to your path on face to path is also good. Remember, if you wanna move the ball a long way left to right, you're gonna need it thing open for a right-handed golfer and vice versa if you're hitting the draw and you wanna move it the other way. Try and get this one, if you can, to be down with your irons and up or neutral, as in zero, with your driver. Based on what you need as a golfer, but I hate seeing amateurs with a really high launch angle. If you think about your six iron, it's gonna have about 30 degrees of loft, so let's get that six iron at 15 to 20 degrees launch. Try and keep it half of the loft on the club, unless it's driver, then you want more. Zero is always great with this one. It's gonna be right for you, the golfer. Look at the golf ball you play, but you don't want a driver that's too spinny, especially if you're hitting into wind, and you don't want it knuckling, which is the term if there's not enough spin on it. Six iron spins about 6,000. That's your golden rule. If it says seven on the bottom, 7,000. If it says four on the bottom, 4,000. Work on that. If you have less speed, you're gonna want more spin. That'll keep it in the air. Zero is always brilliant, but if you're hitting shapes, you're gonna to wanna to put a bit of side spin on that golf ball. Side carry, again, depends. If you're aiming at a target, then you don't want that thing missing much left or right. But if you're aiming at a target, getting specific, and you just wanna hit it left of the target, obviously that thing needs an L next to it. With irons, you like it stopping pretty close if you're hitting into the green. But with driver, if you're trying to hit a shape and sling it around a hole or fade it, then get it landing side total and kicking forward. So if it's bigger, all depends on the shot you want. If it's smaller, that will be an iron. You want it stopping quickly.